Hey guys, welcome back to the Charismatic Nerd. So today, we're gonna get some life advice from the art of war. Now trust me guys, this is not gonna be another corny video on the art of war. You just type that up in YouTube and you'll see all these Sigma male grind sets talking about the art of war and whatnot. But I will admit, the Art of War is an amazing book, but the problem is that you need to read it a couple of times and also engage with life a lot more to really understand the subtleties of the Art of War. Trust me, when I was 24, that's the first time I read it and I thought I was the master of strategy when I first read it and ironically enough, I did not apply any part of the book in my day-to-day -day life. And reading it now as a 32 year old after completing therapy, engaging in conflicts and really just um, being more involved in my own life and with other people in general, The Art of War is a completely different read. And now I, I do understand the nuances a little bit more. I don't think I'll truly ever understand The Art of War just because it's so incredibly deep, but I think I'll always get some bit of an essence of it. And this past week when I was reviewing it, I did come upon some things with a new perspective and I wanna share that with you, so giddy up. So the passage that really caught my eyes and really got me to reflect about my past actions in life was this. Command is wisdom, integrity, compassion, courage, severity. Although in the art of war they're talking about a leader of an army with those qualities, those qualities can be for anybody, regardless of what state you are in life. Because keep in mind, at some point, you're going to be a leader of something, whether that's being the leader of your family, a leader at a company. You never know when you're going to be thrusted with the leadership role. But regardless, you should be cultivating those qualities constantly. Now, I could be going down on all those qualities and go in depth on it, but I don't want to make this video so convoluted. What I want to do, um, what I do want to focus on is the one quality of severity because that was something that completely went over my head when I was reading it at 24. So when it comes to severity, it's all about having standards in your life. Now I've mentioned standards before in uh, previous videos, but the reason why I bring it up again is the fact that when Sun Tzu is mentioning severity in the art of war, he's telling you that when people are breaking the rules or breaking your standards, there has to be consequences for it. And severity is part of that whole aspect of well-roundedness where wisdom, integrity, compassion, uh, damn, I forgot that other one, which is courage. I got it. So, so no matter how much courage you have, no matter how much wisdom you have, integrity, compassion, all that will crumble if you don't know how to punish people that break the rules. And as a result, when th those rules and standards are not met in the army, they are going to be defeated. No matter how wise, no matter the integrity, the courage, all that that I mentioned, again, it's all part of that well-roundedness that you want to develop yourself into. And the reason why I'm making this video is that you have to remember that it doesn't matter how smart or wise you are. It doesn't matter how many books you consume. It doesn't matter how courageous you can be. It doesn't matter the integrity, compassion, all that. Because if you're willing to let people walk all over you and not follow your standards, then it's all to no avail. Now don't take this as permission to go cruelly punish people and being a complete ass. All I'm trying to remind you is that in being a fully developed and mature individual, you cannot let people walk all over you and not fit the standards that you have in place. Again, that's why when it comes uh, to the art of war, that's why they were saying for the command, it was five qualities, not just one, but five. All five play its part in creating that well-rounded leader. And, and in a lot of personal development content, people talk about you know, becoming this, becoming that, beginning more knowledge, making more money. But the problem is that when you hyper-focus on just one part, you're still going to not have the best life possible. Again, it's what fits to make you that well-rounded individual. 
And for example, for me, I did, I was reading so many books, so many books. I showed uh, way too much compassion. Um, integrity, I lacked. Courage, I lacked. And se severity, I definitely lacked. And as a result, I was just a stunted individual. And for you, maybe you have more qualities. Maybe you have the wisdom, the integrity, the compassion, and courage, but are just lacking with the severity. Well, just take this as a reminder that nobody's going to respect you until you are the one that's willing to put the standards and boundaries in your life. And then reading that in The Art of War, it just really hit me how crucial it is to know when to punish people, when to show that there are consequences when there's poor behavior. Now, the million dollar question you're probably thinking, or at least I'm thinking is, when and how to punish people? So when it comes to when to punish people, it's very simple. Make sure that you explicitly understand what your standards are, and when someone doesn't meet it, that's the time where you need to, quote unquote, punish or lay down the boundaries. And with regards to how to punish people, honestly, it's a case by case basis, but it's a sense where you just tell the person that what they did was not cool. Now, some of you are thinking that's not punishing someone. It actually is because you're calling them out and you're making a very mundane situation into something very uncomfortable. For example, say you have a friend that for whatever reason, he takes days to respond to you. Again, very mundane situation. However, if you have the standard of respecting your friendships and when someone's taking days to respond to you, that's disrespect. And the way to punish that is you call them out. You tell them, hey, what's the deal with taking days to respond to me? And it's gonna make that situation very uncomfortable for them. It's its own form of punishment. And however they respond, that's gonna tell you whether this is someone what to keep in your circle of friends or someone to let go. That's it. Fairly simple, guys. Again, you don't wanna complicate it. Or another form of punishment is simply by cutting off the person. Say, for example, you have a toxic family member and for whatever reason, they will not abide by your simple standards of respect and peace of mind. In those cases, you just cut that person off. Period. You have to show that you're willing to abide by your standards and boundaries and that you're willing to be severe. Because if not, then they're just gonna walk all over you and not give you the respect and peace of mind that you so dearly want. And keep in mind, guys, I'm not saying to go ramble and be cruel. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you're willing to stand by your standards and have boundaries in place. And when people are willing to clean up their behavior, then you can entertain the idea of re-engaging them or bringing them back into your life. Because the thing is, again, you know, going back to those five qualities in the art of war, you need all that to be a well-rounded person to ha and to have a, an honorable, noble, and authentic life. And if you're not willing to be severe with your boundaries, then you're just gonna be living a life where you're, you're gonna be hoping and wishing that people will meet your standards when in reality, they won't. So again, just make sure those standards and boundaries are in place. And if people m meet them after, you know, airing, then entertain the idea of bringing them back. All right? And before you guys think I'm some amazing scholar on the art of war, I'm not. I actually was able to get more clarity uh, on this idea of those five qualities, and especially severity, by reading the commentary from ancient uh, Chinese authors and modern translators and modern historians, so that really helps. So keep in mind, this was not me figuring this out. This was me just finally understanding the commentary after eight long years. And if you want to know which edition of The Art of War I read with all that commentary, it's this one right here. It's an excellent read, and honestly, it sucks it's not on Kindle, so I'll be keeping this copy with me, hopefully for the rest of my life, but it's an excellent read, and with the commentary, you'll be able to understand the art of war much better. At least much better than I did when I was 24. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up, but before I do that, just remember, guys, that no one key element is gonna be your ticket to an amazing life, to being authentic. You have to remember it's all about becoming a truly round person. I've been doing this in this video all countless times now, but you have to remember that 
It's all about being a well-rounded individual, an individual that has wisdom, an individual that has compassion, integrity, courage, and severity because with how complicated or challenging that life can be, you're gonna need all those qualities to solve problems, engage with people, interact, and come out of it not as hurt as most people do. So remember, it's all about becoming a well-rounded individual. And the art of war, which has been in print for thousands of years, at least 2,000 years, it had those qualities of a well-rounded person. And while we're going on the internet consuming all this self-help YouTube, just reading those five qualities and cultivating it in ourselves would have prevented a lot of problems. All right, so again, guys, remember, life is simple. I say that in so many videos. So if you're looking to start uh, developing yourself, just start with those five qualities from the art of war, all right? But again, that's it for this video. I'm done, I swear. So please don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the newsletter, share this video, and guys, remember, you're not just any type of nerd. You're a charismatic nerd.